So just like the title of this video says, people are wasting a ton of time on eBay listings. And I didn't realize it until I started a listing service where I create drafts and listings for people. And I was able to start seeing some of their current drafts and the way that they did things and just how much time some sellers are actually wasting when they make an eBay listing and how when I heard people say they could only get five or six or seven listings done per day, exactly why they could only get some of that uh, listing numbers done. And it was somewhat prep and photographing and those sort of things, but there was a ton of wasted time with a ton of sellers on the actual draft and the listing. So I'm gonna take you to my computer and show you where people are wasting so much time. Before I do that, I just wanna to say to you guys, this is just one of like a hundred things that I see on a weekly, monthly, daily basis sometimes of just things that people are worried about that they don't need to be worried about. I've got people who are posting on Facebook having hour-long conversations about their buyer had a weird name or a weird street name or a weird this and should they worry about the tape was on at a 45 degree angle instead of a 10 degree angle or is it okay to use green tape instead of red tape or a green bubble mailer instead of a blue bubble mailer. There are so many things I see owning a Facebook group with 125,000 members and being a part of other Facebook groups that just blow my mind. Guys, it is enough as it is work-wise, hour-wise, hard work, competition to make money reselling or doing anything. Never mind if you're adding problems and getting in your own way. I always tell people, move on. It is, it is my mantra. It has been my mantra for years. Just move on. These are things that you don't need to worry about. And when I show you what I'm about to show you over on the eBay listings, you'll realize what I'm talking about when I say people are just spending entirely too much time doing things that aren't productive. They don't help. They don't make money. They're not necessary. Uh, the list just goes on and on and on and on. So focus on what you need to focus on. I don't even know who I sell items to. I couldn't tell you their name, their address, or anything else. I don't look. I look at the item, print label, bam. I don't go into people's listings and worry about what they're doing on eBay. Stop worrying about all this stuff, guys. Worry about what's important and you will see a difference. Like you'll see a difference in your time, your production, your money, your sales, everything. So let's go over to the eBay listing. I'll show you where people are wasting so much valuable time and hopefully you aren't making these mistakes. If you are, then keep it simple, stupid. That used to be the old saying, K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple, stupid. And it's not an insult to anyone. It's just kind of like a saying. It's an old, old time metaphorical saying where you got to keep it simple or you're just going to kill yourself. Let's go take a look. Okay, so I just came over to my eBay uh, account here and I opened up a random J. Crew shirt that we have listed right now. And if you scroll down, the title is obviously super important. So nobody ever complains about, you know, having all the keywords and titles and that's easy. And obviously, uh, if you have a SKU, that's a SKU. But look at this down here where you have item specifics required and everyone knows that this is eBay's favorite thing to hit us with all the time is required item specifics and they're always changing it. But you have to have the brand and the size type and the size and the sleeve length and the color and the type and the department, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven required item specifics. This takes a second. Generally based on your title, eBay can pick up most of these. It'll be one or two that it doesn't. But if we come below that, we have additional optional item specifics, right? So item specifics required and we have optional. A UPC. Well, this happens to be a brand new shirt, so it does have a UPC, but most people are selling used and generally I don't have brand new shirts. This is just an oddity, like a one-off that I happen to have, but it wouldn't have a UPC, so it wouldn't even matter, right? The pattern, plaid, this is a pretty important one, like animal plant camouflage, uh, you know, floral. If it has something like that, I could see you putting it in there. The closure, this is a button closure, so you can select it pretty quick. Accents, does this have beaded, bows, buckles? Look at this fabric type, a theme. What kind of theme? 20s, 30s, 40s? If you're selling vintage clothes, maybe it fits. Features, slimming, slim fit, collar style, button down, material, characters, product line. Is this vintage? No, it's not vintage. What's the neckline on this thing? What occasion, what season, what country, region? I mean, so many of these item specifics are recommended because they're worthless. There's no graphic print. It's not personalized. It's not handmade. I can select all this. Chest size, California, NPN, unit quantity, unit type. Look at all of these item specifics. They're literally uh, recommending one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 recommended on top. 
of the seven that were there. 35, imagine filling out 35 item specifics for one item. This is where people are just spending too much time wasted on all this stuff. If you can quickly check something or select it and roll through it and pick five or 10 of these, of course it cannot uh, hurt your listing to have more information. More info is always better, but to sit there and spend time on this the entire way is to me a huge waste of time. Do what you can quickly, do your requires, put in some of the additional ones that are important and move on. Again, my, my mantra is move on. Then when we come down here, I see people with 10 page templates, like literally. Yet here it is on mine where I have a repeat of what the item is. I have that it's new with tag, size is medium, you know, condition new with tag there. Oh my God. So I won't save this. But anyways, I put that our shipping is fast. We have international shipping, which I can now change this because it's automatic. And I put that any returns put in the kitchen. I don't put a whole bunch of other stuff. We have three quantity, my price, and I'm done. I can make this listing and roll on with this template in like 30 seconds, 60 seconds max, right? So there's people that literally have storybooks down here in the description box and they forget people don't read as it is. They're definitely not gonna read your novel down in the description box. Keep it simple, stupid, K-I-S-S, -S. keep it simple. That's what is is important, the most important thing. And keep these simple, put your requireds in, throw in a few recommendeds and keep moving. The item should sell itself. If you have a good item with a good title that people can find, it should sell itself. They shouldn't need a hundred item specifics to make this item sell. That's just to get people to find the item. They will find the item if you title it correctly. So that to me, people, uh, the item specifics and the description is where everyone is wasting a boatload of time. I see it even on Poshmark with descriptions. They don't have the item specific issue that eBay does, but I see it on the uh, titles and I mean in the descriptions a lot. I see it in titles where people put stuff that doesn't matter. They're keyword manipulating. Just keep it simple. List your items, get it up, sell it and keep moving. That's my advice to you and to everyone today. Hopefully this uh, kind of rings a bell and kind of gets you to reevaluate your business and your listing and make sure you simplify everything as much as you humanly can. Okay, so now that I've ranted over that, I'll leave everyone to the video and to the rest of your night. Hit the like button and subscribe if you guys could. That would be awesome. Helps the YouTube algorithm and it helps me out and I appreciate all of you that are here. And until next time, have a wonderful rest of your evening.